In northwestern Nigeria, where armed bandits roam free, mass burials are a regular event. Hardly a day passes without an attack on a village somewhere that leaves either dead or injured and those taken hostage. Entire villages have been sacked, crippling local economies and social activities. If you compare the amount we have spent for over six years in terms of trying to control this, the loss of man hours by farmers that could not access their farms, the loss of working bulls, the loss of cattle, the loss of means of livelihood, people who cannot access their farms, the quantum is better imagined. It has negatively in fact impacted on the lives of our people. The violence that began as a localized conflict between farmers and cattle herders in just one area has now escalated to a full-blown crisis affecting the whole region and beyond. The recent abduction of hundreds of school children by those the government describes as bandits underlines the worsening security situation in northwest Nigeria. Many farmers here have been forced to leave their land after being unable to pay off the armed groups. We will find a farmer who can farm about 10 to 20 hectares. But due to this insecurity, they cannot be able to farm their, their farms. And even the small farmers who are able to cultivate, let's say, two, three, up to five hectares, they were also being forced to abandon their land and be inside the town just to take refuge against the insecurity. The Cattle Herders Association says nearly every member has had some animals stolen. Here at the cattle market, there are only a few animals on display. Raids by armed bandits have depleted stocks and potential buyers are staying away. And in the green section of the market is a similar picture. The Northwest is Nigeria's main grain and cereal producing region. The fighting here has sparked fears of food shortages in the months ahead. With attacks now growing in number and sophistication, reassuring words from the central government offer little comfort to those facing such violence and the misery it brings. Ahmed Idris, Al Jazeera, Northwest Nigeria.